When you injure your foot while walking, you feel pain, and your hand immediately reaches for the place of injury. When you touch a hot object, your hand automatically moves away. So what controls the hand movement in both situations? How does your hand know what to do? There is a system in our body which carries messages from one part of the body to another and coordinates bodily functions. This system is called the nervous system. The nerve system works with the help of nerve cells or neurons. They transmit or receive the messages between different parts of the nervous system. Neurons transmit the messages in the form of waves or signals called nerve impulses. These messages help you respond in the right way. But what do neurons look like? Neurons have three parts called the cell body, dendrites, and axons. The cell body contains the nucleus and many organelles. It has long branches projecting from it called dendrites. Dendrites pick up signals from their environment or other neurons. These signals travel from the dendrites to the exon. Then, from the end of the axon, messages are sent in the form of chemicals to the next cell or neuron. In other words, the dendrites and the exon act like telephone lines because they allow neurons to exchange messages with each other. Dendrites receive while exons transmit. What are the types of neurons? There are three types of neurons, sensory neurons, motor neurons, and interneurons. Sensory neurons carry messages from sense organs to the central nervous system. The central nervous system consists of your brain and spinal cord. They process the information brought to them by the sensory neurons. The motor neurons carry messages from the central nervous system to the other parts of the body such as muscles, glands, and organs. Interneurons, on the other hand, are only found in the central nervous system and connect a sensory neuron to a motor neuron. Let's take a closer look. Any change in the environment that can be detected by receptors in the body is called a stimulus. For example, when you injure your foot while walking, a stimulus was detected. The organs or tissues that detect the stimuli are called receptors. In our example, the skin on the foot is the receptor. When you get an injury, the skin initiates a nerve impulse, which is carried by sensory neurons to the central nervous system. The central nervous system processes the message and transmits the nerve impulses to motor neurons. The motor neurons carry the nerve impulses to the part of the body that produces responses. Such parts are called effectors. Muscles and glands in the body act as the effector. To summarize, a neuron is the structural and functional unit of the nervous system. The neuron has three parts, cell body, dendrites, and axons. Dendrites receive messages while axons transmit messages. There are three types of neurons, sensory neurons, motor neurons, and interneurons. When a stimulus is detected, sensory neurons carry messages to the central nervous system. The motor neurons carry messages back to the body from the central nervous system to produce a response.